What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the New York Islanders and my goodness I swear there are so many comments. You guys went crazy man. I spent I spent a long ass time yesterday just reading them. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't even respond to most of them because I was just there's so many I was trying to read all of them get all the input and uh, for the roster changes I did um I did make a few, although for the for the, some of the ones I did tone them back. I didn't I didn't think making Barzal an 88 overall yet was uh, prudent, but I did change him to Green Elite because I feel like yeah he's he's that kind of player. He's a dynamic type player. I upped his offense awareness and passing a bit, like some of his skating skills a bit as well. But I didn't do enough to like change his overall. Um, I I think I think it's still too early. I do think this kid's gonna be guaranteed freaking close to you know a 90 type overall player i think he, he's that kind of guy in, in real life but i think after one good year it's i don't want to put him at that overall already i think that's that's a little too over the top but i did change him a bit Anders lee i did improve his shooting stats a little bit not enough to change his uh, overall but yeah he someone did mention he has 74 goals in the past two seasons which is pretty impressive so I did up his shooting stats. I don't know if he takes a lot of shots in this game as a power forward, but uh, we'll find that out. And um, for Beauvillier, obviously, I, uh, I, I didn't change his uh, overall much. Um, maybe I, I did a little bit, and I changed him to the top six like people were uh, people were calling for. So he's, he's now a top six guy. I did up his offensive stats slightly, uh, passing offensive awareness as the playmaker. And um, prospect-wise, I did increase a few. So... I mean, see, Johnston is a bit better. I didn't, oh, I actually should have, yeah, someone did say make that guy a real fourth liner. Well, I, I looked at some of his stats and yeah, well, honestly, I did forget, but I don't think it'll matter too much for this guy. I don't think a guy like Johnston is going to be long-term NHL. That's just my personal opinion because on a team like the Islanders where he, the minutes he was kind of playing, yeah. All right, anyway, so opted not to do that. Did change Pulak to yellow top four. So at age 22, he could still get up there. And bumped up his overall slightly. Now, I didn't do too, too much. And I, I know some people called for me to, like, bump up Letty. But I I kind of disagreed with that. I did uh, cu a couple of his stats I did move up, like, offensively a little bit. But mm, I didn't want to go too overboard. And I, I know how some people can get. They, you know, their team, they, they think everyone should be a little bit better anyway. Um, that's just, you know... That's just a hometown kind of bias that we all have. So I, I took him, took him with a grain of salt. Did take the suggestions. So Barzal is, you know, just which with a slightly better potential. And yes, I do think I didn't change Bessers. <laughs> so sorry, but I do think Barzal is going to be Besser long term. And I'll tell you the reasoning. So Vancouver fans don't lynch me in the streets and throw a throw a you know you know mailboxes through my windows and stuff like that. Um, historically in the NHL dynamic playmaker type guys like Barzal, Crosby, McDavid are always going to be better than the pure goal scorers. And that's just, I consider Besser a, more of a pure goal scorer. He's less of a dynamic player than Barzal. Same way I consider Ovechkin a goal scorer, whereas Crosby's the dynamic player. So that's that's the reason behind that. And for the prospects, I did lower Valeno. Um, I bumped up Bouchard and Dobson and guys who existed. I didn't, I did if I, if I created a bunch of the guys that kind of aren't in the game, like some of the Americans and stuff like that, I wouldn't have been able to get a video out today. So that's why I kind of opt, I, I opted to go for back on the daily uploads and stuff for, you know, a few things. And, and I did my best with some of the prospects, trying to bump them up, trying to get them closer to their uh, draft projections. Uh, we'll see how it pans out. And I did up, uh, and I did change, uh, doll in a bit, um, uh, I up I increased his overall slightly and I changed him to a green elite because this guy is going to be sick. And I changed him to an offensive defenseman because in my opinion that's what he is. I don't consider Rasmus Dolan a two-way defenseman by any means. Watching his highlights and stuff like that, he just seems purely kind of an offensive type guy. When he gets to the NHL, he'll have to learn how to play a two-way game, but I still think he's an offensive defenseman through and through. All right, so that's where we're at right now and I think we're going to be about ready to start simming here. Those I I don't think there's any more changes that I made or needed to make and there was an actual uh a new update from april that i didn't have active so if you're seeing anything different around here uh, excuse me around here that's what that's from uh dal call i just kind of left people were saying you could even decrease him but i don't think i've never really seen this guy pan out so i don't see a reason to trade him um if he pans out he pans out if he doesn't he doesn't so yeah all righty well i think i just about covered all the changes i made to rosters um yeah, I spent a good couple hours this morning doing it, so 
I think we're about ready to get going here. So the plan is, I think everyone was kind of on board with it. Sort of waiting and seeing. Trying to trying to stack this first line here. Like uh, like this. Something like this. And then maybe put Andres Lee in the center because he's the best at taking faceoffs. Or we can go a little crazy and put up Boblia here. And you know what? I'm actually kind of considering that. <laughs> I'm actually thinking that'd be a fun idea. Try Bolvia here, and then... Well, Lad can't take face-offs, but Brock Nelson... Oh. I'm thinking... I always get them confused. I, I get I get confused. I think Nielsen. I'm thinking of uh, Franz Nielsen, who's the center. Well, Brock Nelson can take face-offs with that 74, so hey. I guess we'll do that for our third line. And then our fourth line will be trash. That's all right. Especially you, Kuhleman. So... Yeah, that's the plan here was to uh, basically try to have a really good year with this first line. And I might <laughs> I might actually hold on to Boychuk for a bit just because I, ugh, I, w I want a bit of defense on. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to hold on to him, though. Oh, and another thing that was pointed out, Bailey is extended, so he doesn't have one year left, actually. Uh, he's extended for like six years after this at five mil, which is, mm, I don't know about that. So I can still trade the guy before that kicks in. But we just have to trade him to somewhere where it won't really matter. So that's what we're looking at. And what the hell? Why does it keep changing? Yeah. Okay. This is weird. So Tavares in the game is actually listed as like red franchise. But then when you load up, um, load up like the rosters and everything and actual start the franchise mode, he changes to elite. I remember someone, you know, mentioned that they said he should still be listed as franchise. And he was when I went in there. And then when I started, now he's elite. So I'm not, it's just one of those EA things. So Sorry about that, but I, I don't think you could really uh, change that. It happens with Skinner, too. There's a few guys that happens to you. Like, Skinner, sometimes he'll be yellow, other times red. Like, it's it's just weird. Anyway, well, that's what Tavares is. So, I'm actually considering these to be our lines. I think Bolvia can kind of get away with this second line, especially with what we have on the second line. And I know some people have been calling for Eberly instead of Bailey. I'm going to see how Bailey does on this line, first off. And if not, we could put Eberly up there and uh, see how he'll deal with him. Just basically what we want to try to do is stack our first line here. And... Yeah, stack the first line. Try to get everyone... You know what? I might actually... If we are going to trade Boychuk, I'm going to put Pulak up on there. We're going to try to get as, as many of the guys that we have here to kind of break out if we can. Pulak is a guy that I think we got to maybe put in a higher role. And like I said, if he's playing on this top pair, maybe... That would be a lot better. and it, Well, it could be. I mean, at least it might get him statistical. It might boost him something. I mean, yeah, maybe playing him in his role would be good, but he didn't have too much time to get that much better. And he's kind of a more defensive-minded player, so hey, let's, let's try it. I don't know. We'll see. And we have no good goaltenders, and yeah. So, really? Okay, I forgot. I always forget. There's two Sebastian Ajos. All right, so let me let me let me mess with these uh, rosters a bit. I might I might cut this stuff out while I get these set. All right, so these are gonna be the NHL lines going forward for this year. We're gonna try out Bailey, Barzal, Tavares like this. Try to stack it, and of course we'll have Letty back there to provide some offense. And I think I am gonna start Pulak up here. We're probably gonna trade Boychuk. We want to get rid of that contract ASAP. Try to get something back for it. And uh, I did see some people saying that Soderstrom can pan out. So I might hold on to him and not go for a, another pick for him. And I think that would kind of make sense because we do have two picks this year already. Depending on how bad of a year we have. I don't know if it'll be too bad, but with uh, some of this, I mean, yeah, I've seen some weird crap happen. I don't think this team does incredible, but you never know. You never know what will happen. I don't think, I, I think we'll be pretty bad though, so... Anyway, we'll see. So, um, we do have the depth. Oh, yeah. I do have injuries on, and I scratched this Johnson guy. He'll be our depth forward. Uh, he's trash, so, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, Seidenberg will be our depth defenseman, even though he's listed as top six. Eh. He's 36, so he's probably just retiring soon anyway. Is this guy listed as depth? No. Okay. I'll just leave him in then. Well, if we get rid of Boychuk, we can, we can trade it for, like, a depth guy, too. I mean, uh, so, um... Yeah, I, I lost my train of thought there. I, I was going to say something, then I, now I completely forgot. God damn it. All right, well, I'll show you what our power play's looking like and stuff. Maybe it'll cross my mind. So, yeah, basically what we're, gonna try, we're trying to do is just grow a few guys here internally. Barzal's the main focus. This is who we're most likely building around. And uh, we'll make the decision on Tavares come the uh, deadline. And, yeah, it's most people are in greens. We think Everyone's thinking Tavares is going to explore free agency this year, and I don't blame them. I mean... 
He's been with the team for how long? Only only had like a couple first round appearances. It's not panning out for him. But you can see I'm playing Tavares and Bars all together in as many different places as I can. Penalty kill I didn't worry about too much because, yeah, I'm not trying to be a good team. <laughs> We're just trying to have a good line. So, as you can see, Barzal and Tavares are basically together every single place that I could put them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. And it's a great way to stay in shape. And we also got uh, Bolvier in a few places. It's also giving Pulak some ice time everywhere. Even though, if, even though he's not really an offensive dude, I'm just trying to get him ice time just to see how he'll do. And a uh, shootout lineup if everyone cares. Now... The ticket is, we also want to try to make our AHL team a bit better. Because we want certain guys like Hosang, Del Call maybe to have some better years. Maybe I shouldn't go too overboard with it. Because it's pretty tough to make your team that good. And especially in our, uh, yeah, we don't have the greatest goalies here either. So it might not be a, the easiest thing to do. Now, Hosang... I'd almost consider bringing this guy up to play somewhere on our NHL team, but at the, at the same time, I wanted him to kind of have a good year. So, taking a look here. That first line looks pretty good. Steven Gionta could be upgraded, but actually, he's actually still pretty good. Yeah, you know what? I might just leave it out as, oh, Steve Bernier hype. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. We could sign a couple guys. Oh, and that's another thing. Remind me of free agency. I did give cap relief to certain teams, like guys who are on long-term injury reserve, as was suggested. So, uh, David Clarkson no longer under uh, under Vegas. Just because you never really see Vegas get good, and I feel like in, they, they could be making some moves here early. So, he's off. Uh, Host is off, even though Host is still serviceable. Um He's, you know, he's, you know, not really in the league anymore. And I, and for Toronto, I removed Nathan Horton, uh, put him in free agency just because I'm sick and tired of seeing them putting Marner up in the free agency. That's never going to happen. <laughs> so the computers are stupid. You got to help them along sometimes. I don't know why I'm helping the computer. We're just going to get cheesed later on, but Hey, maybe not. We're not going to be doing the, uh, real time sim. So, um, I don't think uh, there's much else that needs to be addressed here. I'm going to browse free agency just to see if there's anything that we want. Maybe, at least to see if we can maybe improve. Now, Hosa's available. I don't think we'll be picking up Hosa. Yeah. Um, we could. I mean, it's an, it's an option, but I think it'd be cool to let some other team go after him. We don't need a winger, and we're not trying to be good. I can, you know, play him AHL, but that's silly as a second liner. And cap-wise, we do have a bit of room, though. So... Maybe pick up one of these depth guys just because we're going to trade. What's his name? Dennis Weidman's. <laughs> you know what? Let's get someone to take out the refs, maybe, huh? Dennis Weidman to play some depth for us or this guy. Ooh. I actually kind of like this. Well, defensive defenseman I do like. Good discipline, actually. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like uh, Yoki Paka better. I'm going to sign this guy for some depth. I think we have room. If we don't, well, screw it. We're going to sign this guy for depth just because we're going to be trading that one dude, putting in Seidenberg most likely, and then, yeah. So I'm going to sign him for as a depth forward. Everyone else I'll kind of let go because, we again, we don't really need any of them. Is Tootin? No. Uh, is, uh, this guy's a righty. I'd actually consider picking him up, but no. All right, yeah. We'll let all these guys, we'll let go to, hopefully people will sign him. I mean, there should be some teams with money. Hosa could be going somewhere for sure. We'll see. We'll see if they get signed. If they don't, well, whatever. But, I mean, <laughs> they're not in the league, so we did get some cap relief to certain teams. Anyway, uh, da -da -da, yeah, let's advance a couple days here, see if we get that guy. It's only preseason, and uh, injuries are on as before. Waivers are on as before. Uh, we did decrease the injury sliders down to 20 each, so it's, it's basically the same as it was in Minnesota. So it won't be uh, too bad here. Uh, at least, you know, it, it goes on, on and off, which I kind of like. Some some years are going to be worse for injuries. Some years, you know, are going to be better. And it's all about it's all about just finding the nice balance. And I think we found that, yeah, I, 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 figured, I figured a roster might be full. Okay, let's, uh, let's trade some junk here. Maybe for some uh, later picks from a few years from now, because the first couple of years are not great. All right, who, who goes here? You, I don't, I don't even think you're playing. You might be playing, actually, with 69 overall. You're not playing, I know that. You're not, so I'll trade a couple of these guys. Who else here? Who else I don't, I don't see as playing? Yeah, we'll trade, like, three of these guys. <laughs> All right, who do we want picks for? Later picks. Mm-hmm. 
from a couple years from now. Uh, actually, don't know. Actually, New York. That's a good one. Although, in, in the way they're built now, they're probably just going to rebuild quick. Doesn't really matter. They're later picks. They're later picks. You're going to... You're going to have fun with them no matter what. Let's go to 21, maybe. Can I get all those? Probably not. Oh, I'm gonna have to, yeah, fucking A. Everyone's going to have too many skaters. Who can afford it? There you go. Alright, let's go to 21. Those are the better... Oops. Better later ones. I don't think we're getting that four, but I'm trying anyway. Nah, no, we're not getting that four. Probably be able to get another six and seven if we do this, though. So let's go for 2020. Still not. Okay. No! I wanted to <laughs> propose. No, God. A bit off in value. This should go through. There you go. Alright, so we got... We freed up some space. That's all you really need to do. Let's get that dude for depth. And we'll still, we're will still we still going to trade... What's his name? I could have traded him and then done that. But I'm going to get rid of those guys anyway. They're nothing. AHL guys, yeah. Arioki Paka... Host, okay, good. Yeah, some teams are in. All right, good, good. Some guys are getting picked up. That's cool. All right, so we're getting this guy for a year. Just to play depth for us because we are going to trade what's his name. I do not want to deal with that goddamn contract. That is, uh, that's the last thing I want to do. You know what? Let's find a suitor for him. And I think we're going to hold on to the other dude, uh, the goalie, Linus Soderstrom. Just in case, just, you know, if he gets up to a decent mid-80s overall, he could be very serviceable, depending on how our, uh, on how he sims, and, uh, how our, uh, defensive core will be at that point. Could actually be good. Boychuk, yeah, I gotta get rid of this guy, yeah. It's gonna be even harder, because he's at, he was actually made worse in the update, which I don't mind. But we might still be able to get a, no, I highly doubt we're getting a first, but, seconds. Yeah, I don't think so woefully insufficient yeah if it's woefully insufficient uh very unlikely we're gonna be able to get this first very unlikely i mean we could toss in the second that's always the option but i don't know man it's a first that worth it kind of rather throw in a third can i get away with giving a third in for that Yes, we can. Okay, fuck it. I'll take it. It's it's going to be a later first anyway, but we can still use it for value to move up if we want to. Or we might get lucky. Alright. So, roster moves. Actually, we shouldn't have... Un yeah, our rosters are fine. Unless the salary cap thing. Which might be an issue. So, we're just going to shove Seidenberg in here. And I think that messes up our power play a bit on one of them. Yeah, but you know what? Fuck the second unit. Ah, screw it. No, I'll give him. I'll give him some. Uh, hickey. There you go. There you have it. All right. So there's that. We made that trade. Seidenberg just gets stuffed in there. He'll be play. He'll be on the penalty kill and stuff. That'll be good. And I think that's pretty much it. Unless the other guy need to bring him up. Yes, I do. Okay. So I want to make sure he's up there in case of injuries. We could just sub in all lines. That's the easiest way to do it, especially for a defenseman. Because and especially if you get a uh, defensive defense. Hey, what the. Oh, yeah. I haven't advanced the days yet. That would make sense. I actually need the guy on my team to be able to put him in my roster. Who would have thought that? Come on. Let me put him in my roster. We know he's, we he's going to sign here. We know what's happening. Just give him to me. Kyle Clutterbuck got injured, but it's minor. He's fine. He's a tough guy. There's Yoki Paka. Um, I don't know if he gets put on the main roster. He definitely should, but you never know. Uh, no. <laughs> so I gotta put him up here myself. There he is. Bring him up. Alright, and Hosang. We'll see how he does growth-wise in the AHL. We could bring him up at some point uh, during this year. Put him on the third line. I think him Oh, man. Imagine him playing with two power forwards. That'd be pretty good. Then we could scratch Wagner. Play uh, Clutterbuck down there. Anyway, how are these guys doing so far? Not too well. In this. It's only preseason, but... We'll see. We'll see how they do. It's not bad, though, for Letty. Yeah, we really just want the, the first line to do well. That's that's the goal here. And then we're going to reassess ourselves at the deadline. And I did uh, turn up trading difficulty as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. I cranked it all the way up. 
because in this game, as I've stated in other, in other times, it's very easy to get trade value, sick amounts of trade value. So I decided to make it a bit harder in that regard. So let's see, regular season, all right, month and a half. We'll do this first. Uh, we'll probably get it all the way up to the trade deadline in this one. I mean, we don't have too much to do. Fully healed. He didn't even come out of the roster, so shut up. And uh, basically, we're just going to see what this team brings. Uh, I don't know. I think our goalie situation should make it make us have a terrible year, but our first line, you never know. We had a good preseason, but you know what that? Oh, never mind. Wait a sec. It might just be good. Andrew Ladd, mild concussion. You're fine. Um, it's just a four. <laughs> He's on the third line. So in that case, I'll just do a replace player. Johnson will go in there and get some fun ice time. Oh, cool. We're having one of these years. Fractured elbow for DeHaan. That's actually kind of messed up. Hold on. We actually have to call someone up here. <laughs> That's rough stuff. Immediately. Oh, no, actually we don't. Cause it's not, a f I was thinking he was a forward the whole time. What'd I do? Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna, because again, I'm not worried about being a good team yet. I did create, I'm gonna have to, maybe I may need to double check, but I did, I'm pretty sure I moved both sliders down to 20, so there you have it. Yeah, we'll get Yoki Pocket in there. There we go. If we're, if we're, if we're quite done with the injuries, let's, uh, let's move on here. I think I might as well do three weeks. It's gonna be a lot of players here. So we're going to see how this team does. We we basically just want to be able to uh, score a lot. Now, Lad's back. Let's wait till he's fully healed. I hate when you re-aggravate injuries. We're not doing bad. And uh, we're scoring a lot, which is my main goal. I want to see us getting like three goals per game. A bit weaker than normal. That's interesting. I didn't increase a lot of guys, but I did decrease a couple. But mostly I did increases. So we'll see. I did decrease Valeno. Oh, I don't know if it'll be enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> another one and that's a full-on concussion he's gone for a while you know what i'm gonna actually have to uh i did select both for that so i'm wondering why lad didn't give me another message that's a little weird yeah well it's all good <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to double check some of those sliders because i'm now i'm second guessing myself with the amount of injuries that were there right now but it does it has happened like that in minnesota so I'm not worrying about that quite yet, but I do like the injuries because it does it does feel better. It's it's nice seeing not everyone with 82 games played. We're losing a lot of okay. He's available again. I'll wait till he's fully healed. Even though our team's doing pretty bad right now without him. We're not trying to do good. We're just trying to score. So Dahan is back. He's happy about that. He's thrilled. Yoki Paka, how did you do? I'll check you in a second. How did you do? Probably terrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> Minus eight, get wrecked. He's also playing with Hickey, who's trash. So, you know, Islanders' defense is trash. Let's be real here. Islanders can score goals, and that's what we're trying to do here. Score goals. Zizekas is available again. Probably wait till he's fully healed. Concussions are no joke, man. It's only one more game. Now he's fully healed. All right. Okay, so do that and this. There's Zizekas back. How's Bolivier doing? Oh, terribly. I might change. I might move him then. If he's not doing good on the second line, I probably don't want to. He's got what the hell? He's got two points. Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah, put him on a line where he could actually maybe do something. Yeah, that second line's doing terribly in general. But not really much I can do. How's first line? First line's okay. Mm. Yeah, they're doing all right. Barzal's actually scoring goals, which is interesting. But they're kind of producing how you expect them to. Less so with Barzal, he's thinking to be more of a natural, just perfect playmaker, but so far, at least Letty's getting it. Yeah, we're not going to do outstanding or anything, but I'm just trying to score as many goals as possible, although we are seeming to struggle in that regard now. A little bit. Uh, you weren't out, don't lie to me. He was a minor injury, he played through it, he's a, he's a tough guy. Davidson's fine. Uh, yeah, again, that's another minor injury. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot more than usual, man. Did I not save? <laughs> did I, I, I know I changed the sliders, but did something go wrong? That's the question. You know what? There's only 87 there. I'm only doing two weeks there in the O. Oh, ain't worth it. We're still somehow hovering around 500. It feels like we're doing worse. Just because when we lose, we lose pretty horribly. We want more goal scoring, though. That's it, yeah. 
not quite getting it in certain regards. So we'll, let's, we'll check out the stats. And I'm not, you know, I don't really care about our team stats. I more care about personal stats. 19 out of from 24 games played. It's not terrible. It really isn't terrible, but it's not great. Barzal's only got 17 points. Letty. Letty's up. See, that's what we want, though. Bailey, Barzal, Letty, and Tavares. Like, that's what we want. We just want a little bit more out of them. And, yeah, uh, second line started doing immediately better. I guess Bolvier's not quite ready. I'll still stick him with the power play time and stuff, but, yeah, I, I got to play him on a line that more suits him, I guess. So, <laughs> wasn't quite working. Fine. I tried. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is Pulak at? He's only minus two doing okay i guess yeah considering where he's at and considering the team he's doing all right our goalies are probably trash yeah well halak is at least grice is a great backup but he's literally only played like two three games yeah he's got a shutout though good on you grice it's so weird these guys are so close together and overall yet the game sims them so far apart in appearances it's uh it's interesting anyway the mission is to get Barzal to Calder, so we still gotta... That's still the thing. And I'm still thinking that line can take off. It look, they, they, it looks like they have the tools necessary. I mean, they're kind of all producing how we need them to. But, it's just, they're not quite over that cusp yet. So, alright. Nothing wrong with that. And we're uh, we're hovering around playoffs. I doubt we'll stick in there. But you never know. <laughs> Columbus is so far down there. What's up with that? All right, so um, I'm actually gonna check time here. How much time we got? How much time we do? Oh yeah, we got time. All right, we're gonna go all the way to the freaking deadline here because we don't have too much to worry about. We're not trying to be a good team this year. All we're trying to do is uh, spring some. Come on, <laughs> a next train. He's fine. We'll put in a uh, Yoki Haru, what, whatever his name, Yoki pa what, Yoki something. I forgot. Is Yoki Paki or Yoki Haru? I don't know. Something Finn. Forget my own players' names already. This is only the first year. Got to get good. Oh, man, there's some not... Sc oh, yeah, we're just not scoring enough. God damn it. Come on now, first line. What's wrong with you? I might, might want to move Tavares to the middle. We'll see if we'll see if that might help, too. I could try that in a sec. Uh, Pulak's available again. Probably wait till he's fully healed. That's another rough loss. Just score a bit more, like, when we lose. I don't really care if we lose, like, we allow six goals. Just score five. <laughs> okay, he's fully healed. Yoki, uh, Yoki Pocket, there we go. He's getting a lot of ice time. He's terrible. He's no Miranoff, that's for sure. Letty's at least producing, man. Like, we're producing. In certain areas, just not quite... Oh, only 20 points for you, man. You need to get good. Only 18 for Bailey. And 19 for this guy. So, second line, hmm. Might want to move Everly up. 89-89 with a really good shot. How many shots are you taking? 65, good percentage. 62 uh around the similar stats but everly does have a better shot let's try everly up first line we'll move bailey down he is listed as a second liner i don't know if that'll do much but perhaps another better shooter will help barzal do what he needs to do yeah because bailey's more of the pr pr um an assist guy right now and barzal's kind of trying to be forced yeah he doesn't yeah 59 shots is not bad but 109, that's what you're talking about. That's what you like to see. Does Andres Lee take more? Oh, Andres Lee actually takes a lot more. He's got a really good shot. Mmm, I'm actually torn on that now. I might want to try Andres Lee on the first line then. It's because he takes... His offensive stats are trash, though. You know, he's like a pure goal scorer. Well, that actually might benefit us because of Letty. You know what? Let's try this for a bit. Let's try Andres Lee on this line. Yeah, let's try Power Forward on that line. For the sole purpose of... A pure shooter guy maybe maybe allows Barzal and Tavares to be more of a duo. That can that can sometimes actually benefit a team hilariously um, by by putting a guy who's not as good as they are and who just kind of is there and maybe is a good puck retrieval guy. No, no, not allowed. Okay, that's not too long, but fucking hell, Barzy, what are you doing? That's not good. Ah, that's the last thing we needed right now. Yeah, actually, the last thing we needed. <laughs> Have fun, Bollier. See if he can get carried. And, and, and if we're going to do that, we got to move Bailey back up, though. We'll see if Bollier can get carried. Highly unlikely. Where's what's-his-name? It's not. He's not going to be gone too long. And you know what? I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to shove him back in as soon as he's ready. Uh, it's risky, but... Oh, hi. 
They want Andrew, Andrew Ladd. They want to... You know what? I might... Well, they also want Seidenberg. I don't want to give you Seidenberg, but I like those picks. And I don't like Ladd. Although, for right now, he's doing okay. He's helping our third line. And he's... Mm, I do want to... Alright, you know what? I'm going to decline that for now. Just because... Yeah. I do... I, I want Ladd for right now. I can still trade him. It's good that teams are going to be interested in him. He's available. How long to say 24th? Is that not too long? Yeah, it's only one more game. All right, it's fine. And we're actually doing okay. I think those moves helped. At least with Anders Lee up there. He was doing okay. All right, he's fully healed. Good. At right, line. So we're going to stretch, scratch John. Oh, shit. That guy was probably on the power play. Whatever. Again. <laughs> I'm, I, it's funny how I just don't care because all I care about is Barzal right now. He's not growing. What are you doing? Why are you still 85, bro? All right. But, um, oh yeah, that, that seemed to work. Let's see, did he, can't really tell. But it seemed like we won two games there when we had, it might have been our second line exploding. But, man, Bailey's doing incredible, 27 points. 24 for Barzal, missed a couple games. Yeah, we're going to try this combination out again. Because, remember the two games we had, we scored a lot. It was that 5-2 to two and the 5-4 to four when we made that change. Let's see if it carries over. There's a win. What the hell, are we going to be a playoff team? And there's, yeah, it seems like we're scoring really well with that combination. We lost right there, but we got four goals. So, hey, you can't really bait yourself up. We're 21, 15, and 3. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Why? One line team. Look at look at JT, man. He's at he's almost at point of game now. This is what we're talking. Yeah, we're in this, we're on the wild card slot. What the hell? Are we we're gonna be a playoff team. It's gonna be stupid. We're gonna lose, but because it's calendar. Let's check this out. Let's look in depth here. What's going on? Barza he's on great pace. You cannot take that away from him. He's on fantastic pace. Th 29 points in 36 games. As a rookie, he's producing how I want him to. Uh, Tavares producing how I want him to. There's Letty. Dude, look at fucking Letty. That he, dude, like, if he keeps up this pace, he, he's going to be a Norris candidate. There's Bailey. There's Everly. There's Anders Lee. Got a few points here. I think, I don't know what, I, I, I think it really is helping. I feel like Bailey might have been taking away points in certain ways. Because he's kind of the exact same production-wise as Barzal. So, put him on the second line, I think, helps out everyone. And it's probably why. And I can actually try Beauvillier up there on that second line now. Just because of they seem to be doing better. And Beauvillier is kind of hybrid by the looks of him. Bailey's pure. Uh, Everly's goal scorer. So, all right. That might be an idea to try again. Just with that combination now with Bailey there. Because how many shots does uh, Beauvillier take? I feel like it's a bit... Mm, no, nah, not that many. 77. Well, more than Barzal with the amount of ice time he's getting. How about Bailey? You know what? Yeah, I think Bolvier is going to be a bit of a shooter. And he's got a decent shot, so... Might try might try him back on the second line again. And in that case, then I will be more open to trading Lad Because, yeah, I don't need him anymore to carry. But before, before we make a decision like that, we're going to actually have to see how Bolvier is going to do with this combination. With Everly and Bailey. So, what is he at? Uh, 16 points right now and a minus 9. So, we'll keep an eye on that. 16 points and a minus 9. And, uh, yeah, everything's good. And our HL seems to be doing well, so I ain't touching that. Oh, don't freeze. Okay, good. Woo! That's scary. I don't know why. That, that white screen took a bit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if this interesting year will continue for us. Just score a lot. I don't care if you lose. Just score a crap ton. That's the opposite. It is Boston, though. There, it's not. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Brandon Davison's fully healed. Keep saying that. I'm pretty sure he was never out, but I'm double checking, so I just know where. Where the hell is this guy? Okay. Yeah, no, he's fine. I was like, why does he keep telling me about that guy? He's just getting minor, minorly injured, and then crying about it. Suck it up, Davison. All right, so there's a couple losses there when we, when we only got two goals. Not ideal. We want to try to get three goals a game, even if we lose. Let's check out Murica. See what Murica's got for us. What the, what the hell? We're a good team. Okay, we're a good team. Cool. So we lose that game, but again, we get three goals for us, so I'm fine with it. Okay, we're uh, Bridgeport. That's a major concussion, Kyle Burrows. What you like, huh? Your defenseman. You're a trash defenseman. Do we have anyone here with poten with potential? Which I actually should have checked, but I don't think there was because I went through this a lot. Oh, whoops. Okay, you're you're in forever now. <laughs> Sorry, bud. 
Top six. I mean, it's not much. It's only top six. He's 20 years old at 62. But bit of a uh, mishap on my part. He'll be in there for good now. We're not putting the other guy back in. I don't care if he gets better from his concussion. Okay. Another win. Vegas. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Vegas is decent. Oh, I don't know if I moved up William Carlson like I said I was going to. Although with the new roster update, he might have been moved up anyway. Um, you were fine. You didn't, don't, you can't lie to me. Yeah, we're actually a good team. This is hilarious. Here we are before the deadline. 28, 20, and 4. Very interesting. Very interesting. There's Tavares with 46 points. We're in third in the division. We're not even in a wild card spot anymore. We're in third in the division. Oh, hilarious. Or as Letty Barzal, 42 points in 49 games played, though. Keep that in mind. That's still an incredible pace. He still hasn't grown. It's a little worrying. You better get an offseason boost, Barzal. You better not screw up. Look at Letty! <laughs> I think we're, this guy's going to get statistical growth, and I'm going to sell him for a shit ton. Oh, yeah. Or keep him in my top four. You never know. I mean, with the way he's producing, maybe you don't never want. Oh, my God. He's got discipline in 95. Maybe I never trade this guy because of that. We all, we all know me and... Some discipline issues. Look at Bailey. Yeah, look at Bailey on that second line. Look at every. Yeah. It's seeming like it's starting to, starting to kind of come together in that way. Bolvier. Okay, so what would he have? He had, what, 16 points out of minus 9 or something like that? Or was it 17 points? I still think he did really well in that stretch. Yeah. I mean, he, he was below 20. And in that, in that, that was a one-month stretch. I'd still say that's great production from Bolvier. I don't think he's getting a 50-point season by any means, but he could with the way that second line is going right now. And you could even argue that you might want to make that second line worse because we're taking away from Barzal. But I still think he's doing fine. And hilariously, our team is good. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. If, if, if it's going like this, play Grice a bit more. Come on, automated goalie rotations. Like, look at that. He's 46 games played. Come on now. If we played Grice more, man, he'd probably get more. He'd probably get statistical. All right, well, things are going pretty well. Anyone opposed to trading t t Tavares for Besser? <laughs> I know the Vancouver fans would either hate it or love it. It's a hit or miss. All right, let's continue here. Get up to the deadline, and we might, and we'll check out progress reports here at the deadline just to see if we're. This is the time if you're going to see any growth, you'll see some big ones here. So we'll see. All right, tough loss right there. We might fall out of playoff contention, which is fine. But luckily, our division is pretty weak by the looks of it. So we might still make it. I don't necessarily want to make it. I got to check out Calgary's uh, pick here. See, that is almost better. But at the same time, they're still asking me to give up a four and a five. And it's just a second. So no. I'm still saying no to that. I'd trade them straight up for something. But not, not for that. I don't want to have to give up picks for... Davidson, either be injured or don't be injured. No. That's, that's a worse idea. Uh, I didn't see what Calgary's record was. I was trying to see what the hell their record was. Bros, yeah, you're not coming back though. Sorry, bud. We got a top six in there. Nope. You're sitting. You're sitting. Uh, Calvin Hahn, back spasms March 14th. Uh, that's a bit. So our uh, defense is going to take a hit right now, but it's all right because if we miss the playoffs, that actually helps us. We like drafting. I'm a, I'm a man who enjoys drafting. Yoki Paka, the worst depth guy I've ever. But it's alright. I could move Seidenberg up there. Fuck Seidenberg, though. So, no. We're not doing that. Alright. Let's check out the Swedes. Bokefist and, uh... Dahlin here. Get him. Lost right there, but you know what? Four goals, four. That's all I look for. Uh, Tyler... <laughs> no. No thanks. Another loss, but we get four goals, so I don't mind those. Uh, you want to you wanna give us Ian Cole. And you want Andrew Ladd a four, a five, and a seven. The hell is wrong with you? What universe? I guess trading difficulty up means also they, they give you stupid fucking trades. I would never do that. That's terrible. I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense if you're looking for rentals, but I don't really care if we miss the playoffs. I don't think we will now at this point because we're doing too good. Unless, oh, we might, yeah, okay, you know what, ugh. Look at Columbus down there being that shit. Why is Columbus that shit? And New Jersey, two teams who were in the playoffs are out of, and New York's good, okay. 
Washington's at the top, so that first is pretty useless, but that's all right. They're still going to get exited in the first round. Philly's up there. That's funny. Anyway, I'm just I'm just enjoying the uh I'm just enjoying EA. What else can you say? Good old Sim Engine. There's Barzal, second in points with only 60. Oh, yeah, 52 points at 60 games to play. Oh, he's up to an 86 now, too, so that's good. He did grow slightly. There's Bailey, Everly, there's Bovier. Dude, Bovier, I mean, that, he just got nine points in that stretch. He's up to an 80 overall, too, and look, yeah, I, I think whatever we did is working. Look at Bailey. What the hell? This guy's going to get statistical growth, so I'm actually kind of glad he's extended now. We could still opt to trade him later, but he's going to have more value when we do. I think our plan's almost working to a T right now. <laughs> I it, it really is kind of looking that way. I mean, look what's happening. Letty's produ he's, he's slacked off a bit recently, but whatever. He's producing kind of still like a madman. Barzal is getting around the point production we need out of him. Tavares is doing what I expected him to do. Um, Bailey has surprised the hell out of me. And now that we have Bovier in a good spot with players around him who can help him succeed, I think that's going to work out. And it's, it's looking like it is right now. Okay, both the goalies are sucking. That's all right. I'm okay with it. Again, if we miss the playoffs, we miss the playoffs. It's really no skin off my back. It actually help us out. I want to check out Calgary's record, though. So I am going to take a look at some of our team stats just because I want to see. Yeah, see, our goals for brigade ain't too bad. Goals against, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I wish our power play was a bit better, though. So if I can try to improve that, that'd be good. Penalty kill. Screw penalty kill. I don't care. But let's... Maybe I can improve that power play a bit. Maybe move off Everly. Move up... Uh, well, well, actually, hold on. Let me take a look at how the players produce on the power play. Because it's always different. So, Tavares is looking like a playmate. Okay, so that's the problem. We don't. We need a shooter on that. Well, we have Bar we have Everly. Yeah, well, actually, Bailey's looking like he's getting more goals, so maybe put him back onto the top unit. Because what it's looking like right now when we have Barzal, Tavares, they're both kind of more assist guys, especially on the power play. So we don't really have the shooter. We have Eberly up there right now, but he's not, uh, he's not a shooter on the power play, evidently, because he's not producing like it as much. So Letty's, yeah, Letty's kind of having to be the goal scorer, which is sort of counterproductive because that's less less chance that he scores. So I think even Bailey up onto that line might be good. Only 131 shots. That's weird. Or maybe we could try Anders Lee. No, but even Anders Lee isn't doing that much. All right, we'll try Bailey on back onto the top unit instead of Everly. We'll see how that does. May It might help improve it. Slightly, ever so slightly, but 15% is not ideal, especially for an offensive type team that we are. So that's something that I do want to address. I'm going to check progress reports after that, but I just want to take, ah, ah, I want to take care of it before I forget. Cause I will forget. And even though we're not going to be simming anymore, but still, uh, what was I doing? Yeah. See, I already forgot. All right. Um, there we go. We'll try that. Yep. We'll keep those guys on the one time. We'll try that out for our top unit. Exit here. And I didn't check out Calgary's record still. I'll do that too. Oh, I'm too excited, man. I'm having too much fun here. Uh, da -da. Yeah, there we go. So Calgary's pick is going to be worth a crap ton. Not that much because they are kind of not really at the bottom. And you know what? They could still crap. What the fuck's up with the Pacific? <laughs> it's so weak. Oh, it's so... Van... <laughs> Vancouver. Vancouver's the best team in the Pacific, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, EA Sports, it's in the game. Seriously, how the hell are they good? Okay, I gotta check this. What what are they? What's up with this? I, I gotta actually see what the hell's going on. Is Barzal just carrying that hard? Besser, sorry. Okay, guys, this team this team's a first place team, guys. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This team's first place. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's first place material. First place team, Vancouver Canucks. What the hell? Good stuff. This team's better than the Sharks, better than the uh, Golden Knights, better than everyone. Okay, good. They did at least move him up. You eh. see, it's only yellow though. I I still would have changed him to elite, but whatever. All right. Well, that's that's funny. So stupid. Why the hell? Why is Vancouver good? Why are we good for that matter? 
We're, uh... Are we going to run into, ca- I, I mean, are we going to run into a situation where the calendar sim is going to suck in this one? And then I'll have to just do everything text sim. That's not enough growth. Could have used a bit more from other ways, but whatever. He's still got the off season. I think he'll get a boost in the off season. I do like that Bolvier has grown quite a bit. Well, there we go. Okay, there it is. Okay, just, yeah, just a bunch spread out. I was hoping for more of his offensive stats to get better, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Uh, Ho Sang's up to a 79. He's probably actually ready for NHL at that. Yeah, I think we did. I'd say we trade Lad and bring him up or something like that. Shane Prince got a bit better. Not really concerned about him. He's nothing but depth. He's not even that good defensively. But Ho Sang, that's quite a bit of growth. I think bringing him up could do well, especially considering his offense is good. His shot's pretty good. Third line. Yeah, I think Ho Sang's ready. 22, man. I'd say he's ready. So now we got to decide, do we ship off Tavares here? Did we get Barzal boosted enough? Or do we let Tavares walk in free agency? <laughs> That's a good question. You probably want to get something back for him. Trade him trade him straight up for, Bar for Besser. Tavares for Besser. Because fuck you, Vancouver. You should not be first place. Anaheim makes sense up there. San Jose Sharks makes sense that they're up there. Should be better, though. Why is Pacific so weak? Everyone in the bottom, you know, makes sense, at least. But that Vancouver thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 at this point, I'm just seeing what's... What, oh, God. The Red Wings. What? And then the Boston's all... Oh, my fucking God. Boston's... that. How? How is Boston that bad? I don't get this game. The sim engine, the sim engine in this game is just so goddamn silly at times. How is Boston all the way down there? With this team, we got, we saw what Vancouver looked like. With this goddamn team, Boston's at the bottom. <laughs> the hell? Like, what the hell? They're ten times better than Vancouver. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh, Whatever. We already know what EA's a joke. It's all good. Okay, so deadline time. We got the decision to make. We do we trade Tavares? If so, who do we trade him for? And anything else? Uh, Soderstrom, etc. Do we go for that guy? Who knows? Oh shit! Hold on. I think I fucked up. Yeah, I did. Oh, all right. So I'm trading Soderstrom now, most likely. I completely forgot that. <sighs> That's my, that's my bad, because I, I traded him, and I assumed I was going to trade him, and I just completely forgot to put him in somewhere. That's... Oh, I'm pissed at myself for that. Because, yeah, now that he's 21 at 71, highly, even more highly unlikely that it gets good. We can still try it, but, ah, uh, that's my bad. That's what I get for getting my mind made up and thinking I actually traded the guy. So, there's, there's your first mistake in the first year. But don't worry, it's only a starting goaltender. I ain't going to do that with the elites. And we need to find one of those anyway. So I can put him in now. But most likely we're going to end up trading the guy at this point. Unless he gets a massive jump. Which he still could do. But that is my bad. That's what I get for uh, for doing all that stuff in the first episode. And almost, almost making up my mind about that. Because I just don't like starting goaltenders. Alright, well. Deadline. So we still got decisions to make. We can still opt to trade that guy now. But the way things are looking up, we might make the playoffs. Um, we could still fall out here. What are we at? Uh, 72. Florida is at 70, but they're still going to pat. Ah, we, I think we're going to hold on to a wild card spot with the way things are going. No one's going to take it from our division. And in that division, uh, it depends on both Red Wings and Florida doing better. Unless Montreal makes a run and Bo unless Boston gets really good. Dad, that's so stupid. Yeah. Well... I don't know, but uh, there's a lot of options here. I was hearing a lot of talk about, <laughs> well, so you, you didn't say Barzal and Besser together, but people were saying trade Barzal for Besser. <laughs> I'd rather keep them both and get for, go for Besser, but and with Vancouver doing how they're doing, what the hell, why would they trade a guy like Besser right now? Highly unlikely that they would. Although it's very obtainable to grab him, probably grab a pick as well for Tavares, if, if that's a thing. But, I don't see, I don't know, who knows. 
I do, I, in the few, first few years, I try to keep the trades and stuff relatively realistic, but as the years go on, obviously, the, the league changes, so, I mean, people who are, you know, untouchable to be traded right now in a few years, that might not be the case anymore, but for the first couple of years, I will try to keep some of the trades kind of make sense a bit, so, uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now, so do we trade Tavares or let him go, or maybe even sign him for a couple more years as we're going right now? But uh, it, we're, we're accomplishing what we need to. Barzal's getting the points that he needs to. Our first line's doing what they need to. We've gotten a bit of growth in certain areas, and things are going pretty well. So, all right, guys. Uh, interesting first year here, to say the least. Some of the uh, standings don't make a whole lot of sense, but, hey, it's in the game. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description